Hello, what's up again, YouTube world? It is your girl, the Venusian Bull, and I'm back by popular demand. That's right, for another video in reference to the signs. So we are at the infamous Leo, the king, the queen, the lion. So I feel like I have like my lioness hair going on, like the locks really work because I was trying to do big hair for Leo because Leos love big gaudy hair and it's gold and I have like yellow on to represent the sun. I got my like yellow eyeshadow going on. I did it up and I have not been wearing makeup since Virgo season started. So this is special for y'all because after today, well, when I do my Libra and Pisces videos, I'll probably put on makeup because you know, they like to be pretty too. Not that the other signs don't like to be pretty, but they just don't care about all that stuff. But you know, Leo, y'all do. Y'all care about that. And I have, I forgot to mention that Cancer loves big hair too. The bigger the hair, the more we care. Yes. All right. So um, we're going to get all up into this, Leo. I just wanted to point out that um, although the Mercury retrograde is over, and I'm pointing this out because Mercury is currently in Leo in the cosmic weather we're experiencing. Um, I've been told by another astrologer that we're actually in our shadow. It's in its shadow period until about September 2nd. So there still might be some communication issues like miscommunication, uh, forgotten calls, forgotten emails and things of that nature. You thought you sent something to somebody, but it turns out they didn't get it. I feel like all of these things happened to me today. So, um, yeah, so be careful about that Mercury retrograde. It's like, it's over, but it's not like, you know, how when something is over and there's like a lingering period that's basically what this mercury retrograde is right now but um mars retrograde and today i have to double check to see if there's a shadow period for mars and all of the other planets but it officially goes direct today um so mars will be uh chugging back towards aquarius so right now it's in the later degrees of capricorn at like 28 uh degrees and stuff like that so, um, but it's been trying in a lot of my stuff. So, um, even though Mars been retrograde, it's been good for moi. Um, okay. So did I just make my hair bigger? All right. So here we go. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into the lion and or the lioness. However you um, like to put it. This really looks like lion. I really like this hair for Leo. Um, <laughs> it really works. Um, so, um, Leo's motto is I will because they have all of this will and determination, right? Um, they're ruled by the sun. Uh, duh. So the sun represents your identity, your vitality, what makes you unique. Um, it represents creativity and it's your ego. And um, the sun, I'm sorry, Leo energy is akin to the fifth house. So once again, I got to give my little disclaimer in reference to Leo energy. This would be if you have your sun, your moon, your rising, or possibly your Mercury, Venus, or Mars in Leo, you could exhibit some of these traits, as well as if your north or south node is in Leo, or if you have planets in the fifth house. I'm doing the most here, y'all, because I actually do not have any planets in Leo. So if y'all see me acting a little bit fake or whatever, because I'm trying to come across as a Leo, it's because I don't have that energy in my charts. But, you know, I'm acting. You know, that's what Leos do. Y'all are drama queens, like literally drama kings and queens. So um, I'm going to get to acting <laughs> on y'all hosts. <laughs> So let's go into my favorite part of these videos, the songs. And I just feel like y'all know what's coming. I got a big eagle, eagle, such a huge eagle, but he loves my big eagle. It's too much. I walk like this because I can back it up. Sometimes Leos can't back it up, but a lot of times they can, or at least talk it up, talk a good game. You know what I'm saying? Um, I used this song for Aries, but it also applies for Leo, especially because this artist is a Leo. I'm bossy. I'm the first one to get on the track. Um, also, <laughs> um, <laughs> using a lot of uh, Beyonce songs for Leo, but, um, a uh, song off the Carters, ain't nothing to it. Real one. Ain't nothing to it. Boss. 
<laughs> so um that's false and uh the ever popular i'm a diva i'm a 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 i'm a diva so yeah that is my songs for leo and um a lot of you may not know uh Beyonce makes a lot of Leo type songs because she has her Mars in Leo. Mm. So um, Beyonce video is coming, y'all. Just letting y'all know. Virgo season is coming. Okay. All right. So um, we are going to get into the nitty gritty of Leo. Let's just get to it um, so that I can make sure that I entertain y'all. <laughs> um, all right. So I feel personally that Leo may be one of the easiest energies to like recognize and spot when it comes to people um, because they really put themselves out there. It's not like a hidden kind of energy, you know, like a Pisces or a Cancer um, or a Scorpio or something like that, any of those water signs. Um, they may not uh, be a Leo sun, but I'm pretty good at detecting, you know, that Leo energy in general um, is sure to come out because Leos are not shy at all. Just not. Um, so they are the queens and kings of the Zodiac, so they believe. Um, so they sit atop their throne and they wait to be served because they are royalty. Yes. <laughs> um, they are the star. Um, they desire to be the center of attention. If you ever hear a Leo talking about how I don't like to be the center of attention, look at other aspects of their chart. But they probably like to be the center of attention in some way, shape, or form. Maybe even in their dreams they do. But they do like to be the center of attention. Um, they love hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, Leo rules the heart. That is the body part that Leo rules. So it's all about that passion and it's all about that love and everything like that. So when they give themselves in love, they give all of themselves completely. Um, so like I said, passionate, they're also very generous too. Um, a man will probably pick up the tab without any questions. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about like, uh, as a woman, like not being wine and dined by your Leo man, unless he got like some, uh, other energy in his chart, maybe like Capricorn energy or something like that. But otherwise, you know, a Leo is generous. They're going to buy drinks for everybody and all of that type of stuff. Um, they're very like pretty, like they're very like conscious of their appearance. So, you know, they're always dressed and nice, you know, like very fashionable. They got their hair did, they nails did, hair did, nail did, everything did, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's very Leo because they just have to look fabulous all the time, like fabulous. And I'm trying to do the whole Leo thing and look fabulous, but my hair is not trying to cooperate with me, pieces coming out and things of that nature. But when it's right, it's a little cute. Um, <laughs> very Leo. Um, so they're very like vibrant, um, exuberant personalities. It's kind of like, it, it's a good positive energy to be around if they're not like of the dark sided nature type of Leos. Um, uh, they're natural born leaders, like I mentioned, bosses, um, divas. Uh, I use Beyonce song diva. I mean, <laughs> it just makes sense. Um, they kind of like prefer for others to do their dirty work, like hire people, like if they have the money. So like I said before, they like to sit atop their throne and like have people serve you, serve them and stuff like that. They're not really going to be the ones like cleaning out the gutters and whatnot. Um, so they can be kind of lazy in that respect. Um, they can kind of be overindulgent in terms of money. Remember I told you how generous they were? Well, they're not really like the financial like connoisseurs that like a Taurus is or that's really going to pinch the pennies and watch the money that they spend in and budget. Leo's don't really budget. They just spend because they love nice things and making people happy and making their friends and family and their children happy. They're just going to buy this and that. And before you know it, they looking at their bank account and it's in the negative, but they're still walking out looking fabulous. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. They too prideful. They too prideful to let you know that they broke. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. Um, so, uh, they can kind of exhibit narcissistic tendencies as can all of the signs of the Zodiac, but because Leo is so kind of like obsessed with themselves <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, um, I kind of peg 
Leos as like the quintessential narcissist. But um, definitely any sign can display that uh, narcissistic tendency. But that all about themselves type of thing um, can be very prominent in the dark sided Leos. Um, they are also stubborn, just like Taurus is, because Leo is also a fixed, fixed sign. So they're very strong within their convictions. They are um, resistant to change in terms of like their beliefs and things like that and what they think and how, you know, they see people. They're very, and that's how this Mercury retrograde may have been messing people up a little bit because uh, Leo is a very authoritative energy, a very bossy, you know, type of energy. So when you mix bossy with stubborn, um, you're going to get a lot of conflict. Um, so they can be violent. Um, don't get it twisted. Uh, you may catch these hands by a Leo. Um, especially, you know, if you're a woman, you get into a domestic dispute with your man, you men be careful. That's all I got to say about that. Um, uh, Leo rules children. So children is a big theme in a Leo's life. So not only do Leos like love children and usually want to have children, like are sometimes desperate need to have children. They feel like a child themselves. Like they're, they have such a youthful um, spirit and energy and things like that. Kind of like a Gemini, you know what I'm saying? Just very but kind of on a higher level because they're ruled by the sun. So it's just a vibrant and exuberance. And um, you can like always see that youthful energy. Um, they love love. Like I said before, it ruled the heart. So they're all about love. They're romantics. You know what I'm saying? All of that type of jazz. The big grand gestures type of thing that's very Leo in terms of love and stuff like that. You know how people do with these extravagant um engagements and stuff like that even the um the uh gender reveals and stuff like that you know leos will take that over the top honey um they uh, also love sex they're very 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 sexual um women can be kind of like exhibitionists they're not high uh i'm sorry they're not shy about their sexuality at all actually none of the fire signs are um, when it comes to sexuality, very open in reference to their sexuality, has no qualms with wearing, you know, sexy attire, sexy outfits, just exuding, you know, sex and things of that nature. So, you know, they have no problems with doing that. Um, so Leo does rule men. Like I mentioned in the last video, cancer rules women. Leo rules men. Uh... And uh, male Leos can exude a lot of like masculinity, the be very, very manly man type, because we have to remember, although Leo is very flashy and look at me, look at me and all that type of stuff. When you think about it from a man's perspective, Leo is also a masculine energy. It is a masculine sign. It does project outward. So it is masculine energy. Even the women that have, you know, uh, Leo placements, they are exuding masculine energy and stuff like that. They're just cute why they doing it hey <laughs> um so uh i mentioned about the big hair um they um express themselves in their individuality very well they are the the expressive sign they are about expression and self-expression that's why you know they love to be creative and um to be the center of attention because they want to express themselves in all different types of ways. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they can come across as vain though. Um, they can come across as kind of vain. Um, but like I said before, they are a natural performer in any facet. So that could be like your child just performing in the living room all the way to somebody performing, you know, on the big stage at like Madison square garden or something like that. So it could manifest literally as being on a stage or, you know, on a Broadway stage or a sound stage or, or anything of that nature. Um, they can kind of come off conceited. I'm conceited. I got a reason. I love way too good to be wearing this. You know, I love way too. That's kind of a Leo type song. Um, uh, all about themselves. They can kind of come across like that. Um, as I mentioned before, not only does Leo rule the heart, but they also rule the spine. Um, and Leo is probably the one that kind of came up with the term, uh, or the phrase died of a broken heart because Leo rules the heart, like not only literally, but figuratively, like they are so deeply 
passionate about the people that they love. So if they lose them, it's possible that they could die of a broken heart. Like maybe not in the literal sense, but definitely in their mind and like their souls and stuff like that. Leo's can be low key deep. Um, <laughs> um, like I said before, uh, very romantic. Uh, they just will shell out all of the the stops to um, you know, to court a woman or to please a woman or something like that. Um, and women like to be romanced. Um, very charming. Um, life of the party. Uh, adventurous. Uh, fearless even. Um, it rules entertainment and celebrities. So, um, I've noticed that there are a lot of celebrities that have Leo placements. Like even if it's just like one planet in Leo, that Leo is prominent somewhere because in order to be an entertainer, you really have to be able to put yourself out there and express yourself and you can't be shy and reserved and things like that. So that Leo energy definitely, uh, is a trend among celebrities because it rules entertainment. So that would make sense. Um, so they have difficulty in being subordinate to others and dealing with authority because they want to be the boss because they are the boss. They are in charge of their own destiny. So they don't believe in like uh, working for people. What? You're my boss? No, I'm the boss of me. So um, Leo really doesn't do very well with authority at all. And that stubborn streak, it doesn't help. Um, so typically they're very fun to be around, like I mentioned earlier, due to, due to their bright and exuberant personality. They may turn certain signs off, like some earth signs and things of that nature, especially the earth sign. <laughs> I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I mean, you know, Leos are cool, y'all are fine, but sometimes y'all can be a bit much. It's okay. I'm I'm a you know, I'm a reserved Taurus chilling right here. And and Taurus and Leo, they square each other and they're both fixed signs. So Taurus and Leo really, they really, really clash on a fundamental level. Um, but I'm not holding that against y'all. I love Leo energy. My son is a Leo, like my actual son, like my baby, like my child is a Leo. Um, and he has a mean ass stellium in Leo. So even though I don't have any fire in my chart, I don't have any Leo, my God. Um, the, uh, the universe was like, oh, we going to give you some fire in the form of your child. He has four planets in Leo. Yes, he's three. I'm about to be in for it for the rest of my life, but I love him to death. <laughs> he's my heart. Oh, that's such a Leo thing to say. <laughs> so, um, all right. So see how I went all extra, extra like a Leo and stuff talking about myself. I'm really getting into the Leo spirit right now. Um, let's see. They're a masculine sign or a fire sign. Um, like I already mentioned, akin to the fifth house. Um, extra, extra, read all about it. Just super duper, duper, duper extra. Uh, very charismatic. Um, like their fellow Aries, um, fire sign cousin. Um, they are very athletic. Um, so they are involved in a lot of sports and athletic activities. Um, they also, uh, they can actually be the cougars of the Zodiac. So think JLo and Madonna, who are both, uh, Leos. So they, because they love youth so much, they love it in their men. And men, since they love youth so much, they love it in their women. Like men kind of always date women that are younger than them. So it's not like that crazy, but a Leo is definitely more likely to date somebody younger than them. Like it is not going to be a shocker to see a Leo that's 50 years old with someone that's a 25 year old because they need somebody to keep up with them. Like they can't be with somebody else who's also 50 or 55. Like, please, like they are forever young. They're youthful. Um, you know, so they can't have that. Um, they are this very flashy bling bling gold glitter magic. You know, that's why I put on like my yellow and gold tones because you know, it just gives me, because it's ruled by the sun. It just like Leo just gives me yellow gold glitter. <laughs> um, may like very gaudy accessories. So they may be the ones that pack on the accessories, like the bracelets and the necklaces and stuff like that. I would say it's a couple of signs that can be gaudy with the accessories. I would say that Pisces, um, could do that as well. Um, yeah. So, um, they're, they're very prideful. As I mentioned, that's a big thing, um, when it comes to, uh, Leo's. So they're not 
prone to tell you if things are really going badly in their lives because they have way too much pride and they'll walk around like everything is fabulous and everything is great. Um, but yeah, they do have a lot of pride. So, you know, just know that about Leos and sometimes it may not be all fabulous all the time. Like they say, um, they also, uh, like to gamble. And I forgot to mention this about Aries because they're risk takers, you know, the, uh, fire signs like the risk, they like the rush of, uh, adventure and of like gambling and stuff like that. So they like the casino. Remember Leo rules the fifth house. Fifth house has to do with creativity, entertainment, um, the things that bring you enjoyment in life and fun, like not like the comforts of life, like Venus and, you know, that kind of energy, but it's more like, I want to go to an amusement park. Or I want to go to a concert. That's Leo. That's the fifth house creativity. Like I want to make something, draw, sing, you know, that's Leo. And, um, that includes, you know, gambling, casinos, um, things like that. But it doesn't even have to always be like gambling in a casino. It could be gambling in like in general. Um, uh, like I said before, likes anything fun and enjoyable, very creative. They fuel off their creativity. Um, that's something that's very important for Leo. Like when it comes to career, they really have to do something where they can express themselves and be creative. Like Leo is not meant for the nine to five type of job in corporate America. That is not their energy. That is just not, um, even if they're a boss, because they need to be doing something like that fills them with pride in, in life. If they're not like going to be an entertainer because Leo's, you know, really love children, maybe they're a teacher, but like the fun kind of teacher, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe they have like a nonprofit where they like, you know, teach kids or whatever. I was just watching Insecure <laughs> and they, you know, obviously on Insecure, they have, we got y'all, but then she went to a little rally where there was all these other nonprofits and they did a lot of like fun stuff. It reminded me like a very Leo type of thing to do, helping the kids doing fun stuff with music and whatnot um, and things of that nature, but whatever they do, they need to be the boss and they need to be creative with what they do. Um, also, uh, they, they need validation. Um, although Leos are extremely confident in themselves and usually very sure of themselves and everything like that, they usually need validation. So, um, that basically means, uh, tell them that they're great and that they do everything well, even if they don't just feed their ego a little bit sometimes, just sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Just tell them they're great. Just do it. Um, that's really all that they want to hear. Um, especially when it comes to sex, tell them that they do great. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, so they have kind of a strong desire to like be famous and to be seen and to be noticed. But that even on the more grand scale, like I said before, being famous and in this culture now of social media, where it's like kind of so easy to become famous and be a public figure, that Leo energy is just coming out the woodworks out of everybody. Like they're just grabbing whatever type of Leo energy they have and they just want to be seen. They want to be noticed. They just want to be heard. And, um, yeah, they do have that, uh, desire to be famous. Um, they're very controlling, um, as well. So, you know, like I said before, on the dark side with, with Leos, they can be control freaks because they're so stubborn and, and stuck in their ways. It's not going to be easy to win like an argument with Leo. The Leo is going to definitely be the because I said so type of sign. They're the because I said so type of parents, <laughs> most definitely. Um, so yeah, they can kind of be controlling. And in reference to parenting, um, if you are like a Leo mother, you may possibly favor your sons over your daughters. It's a horrible thing to say, but Leo rules men. So, you know, you may be, uh, your sons may be the mama's boys and you may treat them like that. And if you have girls, they may feel, you know, jealous of that. So make sure that you're giving both genders the love. If you're a parent, if you're a Leo parent and you have a boy and a girl or something like that. Just a little uh, tidbit for you. Um, as I mentioned earlier, very confident. 
Um, and they're also very competitive. Like I said before, they would be into sports as well. And they're just competitive in, you know, things that they're doing, things that they're trying to accomplish. They want to be the best at everything that they do. So they strive for being the best, their best. They don't necessarily strive for perfection. That's more Virgo, but they want to be the best. They want to be number one. So it's not necessarily about, you know, them being perfect. You know what I'm saying? Cause they could slack, they could have flaws or whatever, but if they come out on top, if they come out as number one, then they'll feel like they've succeeded. If at first you don't succeed, get yourself off and try again. I don't know. That doesn't really have anything to do with Leo per se, but it just made me think of it. R.I.P. Aaliyah. Um, so uh, I did, uh, I mentioned this earlier when I was discussing the songs because I realized that a lot of the songs that I that I used to describe Leo were of Beyonce. And I mentioned that she has um, a Mars in Leo. So that made me think that um, I may do a video inspired by some of my favorite divas and just um, like a diva series kind of thing. Not really, like really a series, but just to kind of talk about the aspects that I would see in somebody's chart and placements that would, they would exhibit diva-like traits and things of that nature. But I'm going to focus only on like singers and stuff because you can be a diva and be an actress. You could be a diva and just be like a regular person. But I want to focus on singers because I also want to talk about placements involving like the voice in musicality and, you know, singing ability. Like we talking about the singers here, you know what I'm saying? Um, so no shade, I'm just saying. But I was thinking about doing um, that diva series. I think it would be a lot of fun. So um, I want to get into some celebrity Leos. So Whitney Houston, R.I.P. Whitney. And I will always love you. Yes, Whitney. Um, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Barack Obama, uh, Madonna. And she is like completely egotistical. She is such a dark sided Leo, um, as evidenced by her so-called tribute to Aretha Franklin at the VMAs, um, where she was basically for 10 minutes up there talking about her goddamn self when she was supposed to be talking about Aretha Franklin. Y'all could have kept that. Like y'all could have totally made that little short little Aretha Franklin tribute very brief. And then she had this long ass anecdote, like about how she sang natural. No, don't nobody want to hear Madonna sing natural. I mean, oh, this, she's just the epitome of an egotistical ego, uh, egotistical Leo. Like that, that is the Leo energy that people don't like. What that's what Madonna exhibited. Okay. Back to the celebrities. Um, Demi Lovato, uh, Terry Crews, Magic Johnson, and Angela Bassett. Angela Bass, when we talk about you, yo, that woman does not age. I know, like, black don't crack, of course, but, like, that woman is almost 60. Like, if she wanted to, she could really, uh, she's married and has a child or whatever, but if she wanted to, she could really bag, like, a 30-year-old. Like, she really could. It'd be like how Stella got a groove back. Dose. <laughs> like, for real. We gotta stop with these uh, sequels and reboots, though. I'm kind of getting over them. So, that was it for Leo. Um, as you can see, these videos are getting longer and longer each video because it's like the farther you get in the Zodiac, the more there is to say about the signs. Just wait until I get to Libra and Scorpio, y'all, because it's like I got so much to say. Like, y'all, I might, I might have to start doing this in two parts. So we will see what happens. Um, but until next time, I will see you for my next video, which is Virgo. And it's Virgo season right now. So I know all of you Virgos are going to be very attentive and very critical of me. So um, until next time, see you guys later.